Tyson the Subaru Specialist here, and today we're taking a look at the 2024 Subaru Solterra. Now this is the entry level Solterra, still very, very well equipped. It's the first full EV offered by Subaru. At the front, you've got sensors all along the front. I'll show you those inside. LED headlights, ridiculously bright. And it's sized between a Forester and an Outback. Plenty of room for passengers, lots of storage room. Of course, it's a Subaru, so you've got full-time symmetrical all-wheel drive. Couple EV badges on the outside, and of course, sensors in the rear bumper as well. Easy to open hatch, goes right up after you start it, and there's a ton of room in behind the second row here. We've got grocery bag hooks, we've got regular hooks, kind of two-in-one built-in. You've got those on each side. Nice little LED cargo light underneath here. You do get your house charger. You've got your front plate bracket there. And this floor can be adjusted. You can actually lower the floor if you need to fit something slightly taller in that space. Seats can be folded down virtually flat if you need additional storage. We've got the low profile roof rails. You can get crossbars if you're gonna carry something on the top of the Solterra. In the second row, there's lots of room. Great headroom, great legroom. You can easily fit three passengers comfortably across. There's a fold down armrest with integrated cup holders and media device storage. We have two USB-Cs out of the center console in addition to vents. So the second row heats up and cools down very effectively. Rear door card is soft touch, combination with a soft touch armrest. You've got a couple bottle holders down there and of course your power window switch. Child lock, if you need that, easy to use. Up front, you've got your EV charge port and you've got your regular charging port and then of course your DC level three quick charge, easy to use. Up front, door card looks very, very similar to that of the rear with the soft touch, all four power windows, your window lock. We've got a cloth seat, very, very comfortable and it is height adjustable on a pump system. You can pump it up or down depending how you as a driver likes to sit. In the Solterra with it running, you've got this new D-shaped steering wheel. We also have the driver focus system there, so it will tell you if you're distracted or drowsy not paying attention to the road. Left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have the ability to navigate through several menus, issue voice commands, control volume. Right-hand side, we have our lane centering assist, our adaptive cruise control, easy to use. We also have paddles on the back here, and that is to change the level of regenerative braking you're using, so you can maintain more charge while driving. A little information cluster up top there. You can see digital speedometer. We've got the ability to cycle through multiple menus. Easy to use. You can turn off some of the safety stuff depending what you want, the warnings, easy to use. We've got Subaru's easy to use infotainment, touchscreen, still with a physical volume knob. It's also our backup camera when you put it in reverse. Shows you the top of the bumper so you have something to relate to. Below that, we have our climate controls. We've got heated seats with auto or three settings for both the driver and the passenger. You can turn off or on climate to the second row to help conserve charge, get better range. It is dual zone and it ranges from 15 on the low side and goes up or down in 0.5 degree increments. Goes all the way up to 30. Freezing to tropical, easy to sync it back to just driver controlled. You've got your heated windshield where the wipers sit. You've got your heated mirrors slash back window. You do have blind spot detection in those side mirrors as well. And then we have our drive selector. So put it in reverse, you push down, automatically puts it into neutral, twist to the left, puts it in reverse. It does say R for reverse up there. Push down again, you're in neutral, to the right is drive, and then park, you just press park. We have our S pedal drive, so single pedal drive, along with auto vehicle holding our park brake. And on the right hand side, we have our drive modes, there's three different drive modes. You've got power, eco, and normal, and that displays up here every time you press it. Power, eco, normal. Power is going to make you go faster sooner, but you're going to use more charge. Eco is going to get you the best, but you're not going to be quite as responsive. Then we have X mode along with grip control and the ability to turn off traction control for any situations you may find yourself in or you may need to chew yourself out. Up top, we have an auto dimming mirror, so no switch to flick. It just automatically dims if someone has their brights on behind you. So that is a quick look at the 2024 Subaru Solterra base in the platinum white. You can find that down here at the corner of First and Victoria, Subaru of Prince George.